Okay, we, this is the cat. We're going to go through the muscles of the cat. We're going to start with the superficial muscles. And uh, start in the posterior end and then move our way forward. And then we're going to do the deep muscles on the other side. Okay, so the muscles of the leg. If we start at the very posterior end, you can see the semitendinosus right here. And the biceps femoris right here. This is the big muscle of the leg. Um, and then the gluteo femoralis is just a little muscle that hides underneath the biceps femoris. Then you have two other gluteal muscles, the gluteus superficialis, which is just a thin muscle, and then the gluteus medialis, which is actually goes underneath the superficialis there. And then on the leg, you can also see the sartorius here. And this white fascia here is called the, the fascia lata. And the muscle that attaches to the fascia lata is the tensor fascia lata. Okay, and then if you look on the back, okay, this is where the lumbar vertebrae are. And this white fascia here is the lumdorsal fascia dorsal side where the lumbar vertebrae are. Okay, This big muscle here is the latissimus dorsi. Again, it's on the lateral dorsal side. And then we have your external oblique here. Another big sheet muscle. Um, going then towards the head, there's a line here that separates your latissimus dorsi from your spinotrapezius. Okay, and then this line here, so that spinal trapezius forms a triangle. This line separates the spinal trapezius from the acromiotrapezius. And then there's one more trapezius muscle that goes up onto the neck, and that's the clavotrapezius. And you have this little muscle here that goes up underneath the clavotrapezius, that's the levator scapula ventralis. Okay, and then each of these trapezius muscles has um, another muscle with the same prefix. Okay, so the spinal trapezius has a spinal deltoid right here. The acromial trapezius has the acromio deltoid right here. And the clavotrapezius becomes the clavobrachialis when it goes over the arm. Okay, underneath the clavobrachialis, you have the biceps muscle. In the back of the arm, you have the triceps muscles. There's the lateral head, the long head, and then in between them is the smaller medial head. Okay, and going up. We'll turn it around. So there are two muscles on the head you need to know. The masseter muscle, that's the big muscle that closes the jaw. And then the temporalis muscle. If you remember, this is where the temporal bone is. It's the temporalis and the masseter.
Okay. Now we're going to show you some of the deep muscles. You have uh, this fan of muscles that attaches to the spine and uh, the back of the scapula. There's one that goes up into the head and to the back of the neck. That's the rhomboidus capitis. And then the rest are just rhomboidus muscles. Underneath the rhomboidus capitis is the splenius. And then on the scapula, there is, you can feel the scapular spine right there. <clears throat> and that separates the supraspinatus from the infraspinatus. And then on the bottom part, right below the infraspinatus, is the teres major. And the underside of the scapula is the subscapularis. Okay, again attaching to the scapula, you have another, this fan of muscles here. It's called the serratus ventralis. And then you have, um, very close to your serratus ventralis, is the scalenus. And there's actually three heads to the scalenus. They're all right next to each other, but this big one is the one we're going to point out to. And then you have this smaller muscle here that kind of looks like a seat belt kind of straps across. That is the transverse transversus costarum. And where it ends, the rectus abdominis begins. Okay, and that's that muscle goes all the way down the middle of the body. Okay, some superficial chest muscles while we're here. The ziphi humeralis is the most posterior, the most caudal of the superficial chest. Muscles. Then you have the pectoralis minor. And there's a faint line there that separates the minor and the pectoralis major. And then this strap of muscle here. That's the pecto antibrachialis. Okay, and then this muscle on the underarm is the epitrochlearis. Okay, coming back to these deep muscles, you have. Um, a set of muscles that kind of looks like the serratus ventralis, but they're on the dorsal side. That's serratus dorsalis. And if the head points a little bit towards the tail, it's serratus dorsalis caudalis. And if it points towards the head, it's serratus dorsalis cranialis. Okay, generally the cranialis ones are over here, and the caudalis ones are over here. Okay, and we did show you the external oblique, which is superficial muscle. But there's also a layer of muscle underneath that, which is the internal oblique, and there's a layer of muscle underneath that, which is the transverse abdominis. Okay, you also have muscles in between the ribs. Those are called intercostal muscles. There's an external layer covering them, and then if you flip back that outer layer, there's an internal intercostal muscle.
Okay, um, now we go to the ventral thigh muscles. Okay, there are two big muscles that cover, so these are superficial muscles. The, and we mentioned this one before, this is sartorius and the gracilis. When you cut and reflect them, they expose another group of muscles. Okay, semitendinosus, semimembranosus, adductor femoris. Okay, and there are two adds to that, but this is one muscle, adductor femoris. Adductor longus. And then this small one is the pectineus. And then you have another muscle that runs perpendicular to the rest, and that's the iliopsoas. Okay, then you have the quadriceps muscles. I can get a good angle here. There are four muscles to the quadriceps, and they make like a little hot dog. Hot dog in a bun. Okay, the vastus lateralis is towards the lateral end. The vastus medialis is on the medial end. And then in between them is <clears throat> what looks like a shiny hot dog, and that's the rectus femoris. And then underneath that is the vastus intermedius. Okay, and then there is one other muscle on the calf, the calf muscle, and that is the gastrocnemius. And I do believe that is all of them. Except, oh yeah, except on the neck. So there are two muscles on the neck. Stern, Ohio. The sternomastoid.